Right, this is a lecture on the formal languages and automata course. And it's on, first it's going to have the definitions which we're going to use for languages and stuff. And then it's going to show you how to create a DFA. And later on we'll do um, how to reduce DFAs as well. And NDFAs, not NFAs. Right, first, definitions. Alphabets, words, languages. An alphabet is a selection of symbols or numbers in this case. So we've got an alphabet here of uh, 0, 1. Uh, and with these, with our alphabet, we can put the word letters together, or numbers in this case, to make words. It's all very childish, but this is what it is. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. This isn't just binary. You could have any number of symbols in there. So these are words. And a language is a collection of the words made from the alphabet. Right. Uh, we have a, a with a plus. We don't use this this much. We haven't used it at all, actually. But uh, this is the set of non-empty words over A. So just words here. And then we, with the introduction of the empty word, which we use epsilon for, we have A star, which we use all the time, which is A, uh, all the non-empty words with the empty word. So we use that for A star. Right. A, it is finite. If the size, if the language has an actual size and isn't infinity, and it's cofinite if the complement of the language uh, is less than infinity. So the likes of here, this, uh, the size of this is infinite because it has all the words, but the complement it has everything except the empty word. So the complement is uh, has size one, which so it makes it cofinite. Right. If we donate. But uh, this, this, is to show, this is to show what we can do with words. If we have a, a word X as AB and Y as BA, um, then XY is AB and BA, and the YX is BA, AB. So they're not the same. Uh, here we're donating, this is how you find the number of occurrences of A in X. So we've got two lines and a little digit below there it could be B as well. So if we have size of X equals two, uh, to the A equals 2, then it means there's two A's. Right. Got a quick example. So if we have two uh, languages here, K and M, then they are well, A, B, A and B, A, B, B. We want to find K, M. So we just uh, multiply everything in here by this. So you have AB times BA, AB times BB, A times BA, A times BB. And if we do it the other way around as well, uh, MK, BA, AB, BA, A, BB, AB, BB, A. And we can see that they're not the same. It doesn't matter what order you put these in, just the order of the, of the, uh, the letters. So, and if you want to find K intersect M, well we can see none of these are the same, so that's just going to be the empty set. Right, now we're on to DFAs, this is more useful. Right, now we donate a DFA by here, this A is meant to be a curly A, so it's different to this A here, so this A is equal to A, well this is the alphabet we're going to have, Q this is the, the set of states. And this will make more sense in a minute with an example. Delta, this is the transition function. So if we go from one state to another state here, and we use an arrow, uh, states are done with a circle. Uh, Q naught, this is the uh, initial state. And we donate this with an arrow going into the state. And F, these are the final states. There can be more than one of them. Actually, it can be more than one initial state as well. Uh, it's a set of final states, and we do this with a double circle. That's how we donate that. Denote that. Right. Oh, I haven't done that very well, but never mind. Right, we want to draw a DFA for the following language. Now this is a language, so it's going to have all all non-empty words and the empty word of A. It's going to have an A, then a B to the power N, and N is just going to be a positive. So what we want to do first is we want to have a, an initial state. 
so it's got it's got to go into something, and we we note these states as Q naught. Remember, so the initial state is Q naught. Then we want to have it so that we can have an A. So if we have a state going from Q naught to A, so when we go from A, we can go to Q one. We're gonna we're gonna name this state, and because it because B can be the empty set, so, so it could be B to the zero because it's less than or equal to zero. It, we could just have A in our set, uh, in our language, sorry. So this can be a final state once we've applied A. And then we want to have as many Bs as we want, also keeping it as a final state. However, if we start with a B instead of an A, then we, we've got here, this is what we call a sync state. So it's going to stay here because we can't have an element starting with B. So once we get here, we're going to have a, an hour round, so this is our transition, of uh, A, comma, B. So if you get an A or a B next, then it's just going to stay here, because we can't start with a B, so it can't go anywhere. It cannot go to a final state. Again, this A here, we've got A, then we've got as many Bs as we want. But if we have another A, well, that's not recognised. So B, A, to the N. A is not recognised, so the A goes to the sync state here. It can't finish. And if you wanted to write this down in terms of curly A, this we've got here. An example of the transition uh, here, delta Q naught A. So if we're going from Q naught and we apply A, where do we get? Q naught, apply A, we get Q1. And over here as well. Uh, this is a complete DFA because the, uh, it has every element A and B going from each state. Right, here's another example. Right, we've got our alphabet of A, B. I should have put that in the previous one, really. And the language is with X in A star. So X, has, X can be anything, including the empty set. Uh, the number of A's that are going to be in X should be less than or equal to 2. So first, again, we want the initial state here, but because A has to be less than or equal to, the initial state can also be the final state. So now it don't, we don't really care about the Bs, so we can have as many Bs as we want. Yeah, so whenever we're in Q0 we apply B, we'll keep getting a Q0, but then we've got one A, so we're counting the A's to be less than or equal to 2. So then Q1 can also be our final state as well, so from Q2, because then we've had one, two, Q, two A's, but here we've had a third A, so that is not in the language because it's actually three and one's less than or equal to two. So this is our sync state, and we have the A and B going round and round and round. We can put the, we can use a transition diagram. I hope you can see that. Uh, so we've got delta, and then this is our Q naught and A B. Uh, so we have delta Q naught A. What happens? It goes to Q one. Uh, delta and Q1, B, so Q1, apply B, we're staying Q1, and because everything is in here, it's a complete set. And I think that's it. There we go.